What? <laughs> okay, um, hi, good morning. Huge news. So remember how last year Brandon said that that was the year that Hollywood came calling and that he's been working on a Mistborn adaptation and that like there's there's apparently good movement and we're supposed to get announcements this year? <laughs> Sitting on my phone this morning reading news and there has been a leak. The cast of Mistborn has just been leaked. Ah! I'm just gonna like show the article to you right here. I'm just gonna read it. Big leak from Hollywood, cast of Brandon Sanderson's Mistborn revealed. The recently greenlit project Mistborn has been moving along the tracks of Hollywood faster than most movies ever do. We knew it was like, it was optioned and it was like things, there was progress, but I don't think it was officially like greenlit. Well, it's greenlit, I guess. Many films will sit in their greenlit status for months, sometimes even years, before the actual filming begins. Not so for Universal Pictures' adaptation of the best-selling fantasy novel Mistborn, The Final Empire. Sources report that immediately after the project received the go-ahead, the casting director reached out to and received contracts from seven high-profile Hollywood stars. So these are like people who are in already. With her dark and distrusting personality captivating audiences in Netflix's Wednesday, I haven't seen Wednesday yet, don't judge me, it's no surprise that Jenna Ortega was cast as the street urchin turned assassin, Vin. <laughs> We've got a Vin! Mistborn is a heist tale that centers around the street thief turned nobleman, Ortega, and the leader of the crew of thieves, Kelsier. The Hunger Games' Sam Claflin seems eager to once again portray a murderer who hides his crimes beneath a Hollywood smile. Who is he in Hunger Games? This guy. Other Ortegas purportedly signed on are Marvel's Paul Bettany, I do love me some Paul Bettany, as the wise servant Sazed, The Walking Dead's Carrie Payton as the grizzled woodcarver Clubs, and Game of Thrones' Gwendolyn Christie as the philosophical soldier Ham. Brandon did say that they were going to gender swap Ham, Ham was going to be a woman, and Gwendolyn Christie is, like, yes, of course. While all of the actors we've mentioned so far are exciting, there is one name that got me more excited than any other, Hugh. Jackman. The beloved Wolverine star Jackman commented, he's a sarcastic, manipulative, and well-dressed man who is, at his core, a good person, when asked about his role as Breeze. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna cry. He's like bulking up for Wolverine right now. I guess he's just gonna have to like lose all of that and maybe get a gut for Breeze? I don't know. In what this writer thinks is an interesting move to say the least, the last two actors we have confirmation on are Nickelodeon child star Josh Peck cast as the well-organized dachshund. I can see that. I'll allow that. And surprisingly, Danny DeVito as the immortal god emperor known as the Lord Ruler. <laughs> I mean, Danny DeVito's got range, okay? He's got range out of his trash can. The casting director, in a strange move, also has reached out to two prominent political figures in the hopes of casting them as minor characters. Former President Barack Obama is unwilling to sign a contract at this time, and Elizabeth Alexandra Mary Windsor II has been unavailable for comment. Oh my gosh, we've got, we've got a cast, you guys! We've got a cast! It's happening! Let the wild speculation begin. Who do you think uh, President Obama is slated to play and, uh, and Queen Elizabeth? Who are we gonna get? Who are we gonna get? <laughs> Happy Hoyd Day? He is the Imperial Fool.